Tuesday's chemical attack as 25 year old Dong Ying Zhang. As Eddie Dowd reports, efforts are underway to communicate with her parents in rural China. The Mary Knoll Chinese language teacher was identified today by the U.S. China People's Friendship Association, who says it was one of her sponsors. They tell us she remains in the hospital with tubes inside of her after that chemical attack Tuesday night. Meantime, tens of thousands of dollars are being raised for her. She is all bandaged up to cover her wounds right now. She is. Uh, she has tubes in her. Despite this, the U.S.-China People's Friendship Association says she's keeping a positive attitude. She is very upbeat, upbeat and uh, optimistic. She feels that she's going to get better. Police say 25-year-old Don Ying Zhang was walking in the Ala Moana area Tuesday night when Sebastian McQuan allegedly attacked her with an unknown liquid. The victim ran into the nearby Planet Fitness for help. Her clothes, like disintegrated and she was screaming and yelling. McQuan was arrested Thursday. A GoFundMe for the Mary Knoll teacher set up for her by the Hawaii Chinese Chamber of Commerce has raised more than $70,000 in just 48 hours. More than 1,000 people have already donated with one anonymous donor pledging $2,500. So I think the hearing about all of this and now it happening here in Hawaii where an, an Asian person was attacked, um, I think uh, it brought the community together. The U.S.-China People's Friendship Association says the story of her attack is now spreading throughout China and efforts continue to establish a line of communication with her parents who are said to live in rural China. You know, there's supposedly farmers, so whether they have access to the internet is questionable. And she can't speak. And, uh, and uh, I don't think she's able to get to a, a, a computer uh, laying in her bed. She can communicate uh, a little by writing a little message on a, on a notebook or whatever, but communicating uh, is a little hard for her right now. Now, HPD says this incident is still under investigation, still unclear whether this was a random attack. Reporting for Hawaii News Now, Eddie Dowd.